Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Today has been a hectic day already. It's approaching one o'clock and uh, well it's been a very difficult morning to get off the ground with the brew day and uh, yeah I've decided to just slow things down a little bit. Get out the control box which is what we've got here. Eat some food, a little bit of chicken foo young here. I did actually make a video on this yesterday for making it and I got it all wrong. So it's been one of those days, or oh, it's becoming one of those weeks. So uh, we just need to focus a little bit and uh, get a few jobs knocked off the list. This brewing, uh, funnily enough, has actually got in the way of other jobs, which it shouldn't really. And one of those other jobs is getting this control panel finally completed. So let's get, not control panel, brew stand, which includes the control panel. So just to excuse my rambling a little bit while I focus down on the actual panel itself. So here we've got a 400 by 400 control panel, a little bit bigger than the one that you saw me wire up at Tom's the other day, but identical to the one that we've got on the wall in the brewery. The one that I bought previously to this was 400 by 600 and I just thought the size of it was too much to go on the side of that brew panel. So you would have seen on yesterday's brief little vlog that, uh, oh my goodness, that's printed out way too big. Yeah, so you'd have seen on yesterday's vlog that we're going to try and put a poster of sorts on here and I thought I'd printed that out to be the right size but it turns out it's gone silly size so I guess we're gonna have to go back upstairs and revisit this and try and get it printed out again I told you it's one of them days didn't I right bear with folks I'll be back in a few minutes so we're back and hopefully in the room with a panel sticker that is going to actually fit on the panel. How do you like them apples folks? And there we go. That's closer to the mark. So all I need to do is trim off the white lines on certain parts of the poster and then uh, assemble it and hopefully we'll be able to stick this to the front and then do a cutout which means that of course we can get all of the components in the right place and what I'll also do as well is take this up to Shaz at Iron Tree Designs make sure she's got everything in the right position before she does the actual print well just because Shaz and the gang at Iron Tree are freaking awesome. She's run me off this poster so I don't have to dick around with those uh, little pieces. It obviously would have worked but I thought I'd better go up there and double check that everything lined up and she's such a bloody star. She said, do you want me to just run you off a poster anyway? And well, here it is. This isn't the sticker though. The sticker's gonna be different to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, locking bolts from here so this will sit flush and then we're going to temporarily just stick this to the panel like basically with a bit of Pritt stick because this will be coming off once all the components are in place and the proper sticker will be going on. The reason I'm doing it like this is because I don't want to slip with the hold saw and kind of make a mess on the actual sticker itself. So this one's disposable and the one that uh, Shaz is gonna be printing off for us will be permanent. So thank you very much Shaz and Chris and Ashley and the rest of the gang. So there we go, I've effectively just put some, some of our handy little friend Pritt stick on the panel, which we know we can clean off with some solvent cleaner after the event and I can see that a couple of the holes are actually in the wrong place but provided that we're within 30mm of the sides for these edges and we are 
30 mil of the top easily 30 mil of the bottom spot on then that means everything's gonna fit whether I got the the keyholes in the right place or not doesn't really matter all that much what matters is all the other components will fit in there nicely and that is looking pretty spot on so now all I need to do is just take a knife and we're gonna go ahead this is probably too blunt but we're gonna go ahead and just trim the edge oh that's that's wondering right I've had better ideas how am I gonna do this Jem would you pass me a Fresh blade out of that Stanley knife uh, thingy hanging on the wall. So I decided it, well, Gemma decided <laughs> it would be better to turn it upside down and put it on the cutting mat. And of course, she was right because just look at that. We can now trim the whole sticker. Well, it's not a sticker, but you know where I'm coming from. The whole template to size. And I've taken the lid off as well to aid in that. And there we go. That really does look quite smart. So that is the control panel front. So what we need to do is obviously get some black paint. And we're going to have to spray the rest of the box in black. So that's something we can do uh, maybe today if we've got any black paint knocking about. I think I do have some black spray. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to continue. Yeah, there was still some grit on there, look. Scratched it. Well, I did like it clean. I did it with a cloth and a towel. Anyway, doesn't matter. This is, a, this is why we're using this. It's temporary. But yeah, in the meantime, anyway, I'm going to cut out all of these holes now. So I've got a 20... 22 millimeter hole here, hole saw should I say, and that should be big enough for us to start cutting out all of the holes for all of the buttons. But of course first we need to find the center of these holes so we don't end up kind of uh, just drilling anywhere. So let's pop that on there, that looks like it's centralised. There we go, that seems to work nicely. One, two, three, and four. And this is an old hole saw that I've had for many, many years. And it's got no saw left in it, I'm afraid. This is going to be... Uh, a bit of a tedious exercise, chaps. But I'll show you how we go with just one of them. Any second. There we go. So I've got just a piece of scrap timber underneath on some stilts to protect the table. Even though I've already absolutely abused it to death. And here we go. So we broke ground, oh dear, and the brand new things just fell out on the floor, brilliant. That's what I like to do with brand new bits. I like to drop them straight on the floor. that is why we've used a temporary sticker and not the actual one because it will indeed foul and tear up all the edge of the paper but for our purposes today it's exactly what we've got this for so this is going to be a messy job we'll come back 
once it is complete. Just on a side note, the capacitor has arrived. Compressor fixed. So I'm jigsawing out the remainder of the panel because I've marked it up. And I just wonder, does anybody else have this issue? It's always like my left eye steams up. I don't know why the left eye. Anyway, we're about there for the timer. I think I could just about squeeze that in. There we go. Beautiful. Component one. Holy smid. Well, I've made a mistake, folks. I've made a mistake that would make the bloody village idiot proud. So, I don't know how, but I managed to cut the holes for the PIDs 10 mil too big all the way around. So, I've managed to get out of jail by welding on some patches. At, that is actually worse than it looks. The camera's doing it a world of favours. But, thankfully, when we have the proper sticker, not the template, the proper sticker, now that we've cut the holes in, you can see we've got 5mm either side, but the proper sticker will, of course, cover that up. So, I'm not worried. Now, I've done what can only be called a tremendous save. What I suspect has happened is to get a measurement Instead of using the calipers, I've just put the tape measure on the PIDs to measure them up. And I can see there that it says 44 millimeters. That's not the issue. But probably what I did to take any discrepancy out of the end of the tape was start it maybe from 10 centimeters there. And then read it off as 54. And then forgot to subtract the 10 again when putting it into Inkscape. But, like I said, whew, we've saved it. We've saved it. And we're about to come to the end of the brew day. It is quarter past five. We're just finishing off the transfer now. You might be able to see Gemma up on the steps, just checking what's in the kettle. So if it wasn't for her, I don't think I'd have been able to save this today because she's kept a weary eye on that. Oh, close eye, weary eye. <laughs> she's kept a close eye on the brew day while I've basically Spent uh, three hours correcting a mistake, which should never have happened. Measure once, cut twice, remember. So, anyway, I'm going to see if I can dry fit everything into this panel with the sticker on it, or the template on it, and we'll have a look how it actually looks uh, with everything in position. And there she is, folks. She's kind of mocked up and pretty much ready to go so all we're awaiting now is the new sticker as you can see once that's in place you really aren't going to see this little bit of steel thank god i tested it all out first with this with this uh, mock-up so big thanks again to shaz for printing that off otherwise we would have had more than this go wrong more than the cutout go wrong as you can see Everything is pretty much in place. Slight misfits on like the light there and then the energy bar is just lost a little bit behind. But you can feel there's a little bit of slack in the, uh, in the sticker here so it might move up a touch. We'll see, we'll sort of reposition it as best we can when we come round to putting the actual proper one on. But I'm really pleased with that. And uh, I think once that's illuminated, it's going to look friggin' mega. So let's have that bad boy for a thumbnail. So there we go, folks. Tomorrow's job is going to be starting to put some wires in place, maybe for this whole thing, or at least, if nothing else, we're going to be drilling the. This will be the bottom panel, by the way. We've got a heat sink to come for the top. I could also hit it with a bit of black spray paint actually before I go home. We're going to spray the sides up. So I might just take this outside and do it now. And then this will be ready for 
uh, wiring up and everything else. So yes, I think I'll go and do that outside right now. There we go folks, you should feel quite honoured to have observed me sorting out my black box. <laughs> Obviously there'll be another coat to go on and of course we're going to have to do this. I should really have taken that off and put a coat on it today actually before we get the sticker. I don't know if I've got it in me to strip it all down, maybe, maybe. And then of course we can go ahead and uh, spray the edges so that when it comes to reassembly we are, we are well ready to go I think yeah. Screw it let's do that. I keep meaning to go home it is six o'clock but I think I'll just do that before we go anywhere. Finally I think it's time to go home so where I've done the welding I've coated that with some paint to prevent any rust. We've got the edges where we're going to be able to see past the sticker. What I'll probably do as well is find some way of making sure that that clear coat, we're going to sticker it you see and then we're going to clear coat it. So I'll see if I can bring the clear coat around the sides. We shall see. And then that box is done, ready for installation. So I've set the timer on the pump. That will turn off automatically at 8 o'clock tonight. Then we'll come in tomorrow, give it a rinse down, another clean and put the whole thing to bed for brewing again in about a fortnight's time. Well that's it folks, that's another uh, bit of a session on the brew stand build, so hopefully we'll be able to get that control box mounted on here very soon. So until then, we'll see you on the next one.